Hi everyone, Big Paulie back for a brand new video and a brand new Blu-ray hunt. Yes, today is Wednesday. Yes, it is. Uh, I have been working the last two days, so I couldn't get out on the Monday, but it's just as well, really, because it is lovely today. Blue sky, sunshine, fairly warm, so you can ditch the old winter coats. Yeah, so today we're going to go to Maidstone, have a look, see what they've had in this week. Also check out CEX, because we haven't been up there for a couple of weeks. And uh, later on, well, what is it now? It's 20, 20 to 10 now. I've just had my Mackey D's breakfast uh, and a lovely cup of Arabica beans. Oh, yes. Show me the Arabica beans, baby. Yes. And um, what was I going to say? <laughs> yes. So we're going we're going to Maidstone. I've got a couple of hours up there uh, and then I have to get back to Ashford to the IMAX because I'm going to see bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Hey, uh -uh. no, no, never. Y'all will never do that again. Yeah, and you fucking up the lyrics, which take a long time to learn. Yes, I'm gonna watch Bad Boys, what's it called? Ride or Die on the big screen. So really looking forward to seeing that. So there'll be a break in the Blu-ray hunt. Don't say that 10 times fast, it might sound rude. <laughs> Yes, but before we do that, uh, I do have the little release list. So, of course, you've got to go into receiver position as usual. There we go. Let's get comfortable, people. Yes, uh, some good releases out this week. Yeah, I've already had, actually, I've had two, two of them delivered. The uh, first one. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Yes, the 4K steelbook that was on, you know, the show that was on Disney Plus when they're getting steelbooks. Lovely. A lot of people have asked me, when are they releasing Amore versions? You know, the standard. Uh, as far as I'm aware, they're not going to. As far as I'm aware, they're only releasing steelbooks as exclusives. I think they did start releasing Amore's in America, but then they stopped. So I don't know. Maybe they'll come later on. Yeah, I don't know who Ron is, but he's later yeah <laughs> so maybe they're going to see how much money they can get out of the steelbook buyers first uh before putting out the amores okay so that is uh that's out on monday and i did do an unboxing for that so head back a couple of videos and you can see the lovely beautiful artwork and uh the art cards that have got like a hub impression on them because yeah they didn't put them very well in the in the case oh dear uh we've also got the italian job uh, 4K 55th Anniversary Collector's Edition. Don't know if I'm going to see this in HMV because normally these big collector's editions, you normally have to order them online and they don't usually have them in stock. Uh, but we will have a look anyway and uh, you're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off anyway. Yeah, uh, we've also got Mad Max Fury Road 4K Steelbook. Uh, so that looks nice, but I don't need to pick that one up <clears throat> because <clears throat> I've already got the Mad Max 4 movie steelbook tin collection. That's a mouthful as well. Yeah, um, although that might now be defunct uh, because of Furiosa <laughs> and the artwork's never going to match. <clears throat> Bucker. <laughs> Bucker. <laughs> they, hopefully they'll release a, f a 5 steelbook one eventually. Yeah, uh, we've also got Glory um, on 4K Steelbook, which is a 35th anniversary limited edition. Uh, I actually still haven't seen that film. That's Matthew Broderick, isn't it? I, yeah, it's a long film, apparently. Yeah, I still have not got around to watching that. <laughs> Pardon me. Uh, we've got Ronin on 4K, and this is the Amore version. Uh, I picked up the Steelbook, um, I don't know, it must have been about six weeks ago, something like that. But they were releasing the Amore version. We've got Lisa Frankenstein. <clears throat> <clears throat> Hang on, let me have some Arabica beans to wash it down. I think I've got a bit of hash brown stuck. <laughs> yeah, uh, so that's uh, Lisa Frankenstein on Blu-ray. Um, I watched the trailer for this, I thought it looked really good. It kind of reminded me of 
an 80s version of um, Warm Bodies, in a way, the, the kind of felt feel I got. It kind of looked a bit Tim Burton-ish as well. But the guy in it, I'll tell you who he reminded me of. He reminded me of uh, Johnny Depp as Edward Scissorhands. He gave that Edward Scissorhands vibe. So I'm looking forward to seeing this, actually. <clears throat> and this is also on 4K as well. So it does come with a slipcover, so I need to check that one out in HMV. We've got a couple, well, one, yeah, one release on the 88 Films uh, label. And this is Man of Violence, uh, but I think it's uh, doubled up with the big switch. So you get two films for the price of one. Uh, we have, of course, we've got to have something from Arrow. Yes, we've got Night Siren on Blu-ray. Yeah, not Police Siren, Night Siren. Uh, we have uh, a film called Monster on Blu-ray. Uh, now, I did watch the trailer for this because I didn't know whether it was anime or if it was live action. And apparently, it's live action, even though the artwork looks look, make it look like an anime film. Uh, and it's about a kid that has trouble at school. I think he gets bullied by his teacher and something like that. Uh, but it's got a couple of the actors from Godzilla minus one. Yeah, so uh, that might be worth might be worth a look. Uh, and of course, we have Imaginary, uh, which is a, a new Blu-ray release from Blumhouse, uh, which has already been sent to me by the studios to review. So I'll watch that one uh, hopefully this week and share my thoughts. But there we go. Uh, there are a few other releases out this week as well. I didn't jot everything down because the more you jot down, the longer the intro is. And no one wants a long intro. <laughs> he says seven minutes in. Yeah, so uh, if you want to find out other stuff that's come out, either check out blu-ray.com or hop over to Kermit's video uh, and watch him go through the entire HMV stock. <laughs> yes, fantastic. Okay, so there we go. So that is it. So let's get on the road. Let's get up to uh, Maidstone and to HMV. Let's go to our first stop, of course, it's always HMV, because, well, it's right on top of the car park, so be stupid not to. Yeah, let's go and have a look, see what they've got. Don't be so dramatic, Paul. <laughs> Flipping all the that scared the shit out of me. Flipping hell. Yeah, so I just parked up over here when these bloody things fell down. Massive bloody crash. I thought a bomb had gone off or something. <sighs> Blimey, that's my scare for today. Okay, let's go to our first stop then. Let's go to HMV. Okay, so on the new releases wall, here we have Imaginary. Ah, oh, what a cute little teddy bear. Ah, oh, yeah, £14.99 this one. So I've yet to check it out, but I do have this one at home. Fantastic. And down here we have Lisa Frankenstein on Blu-ray. Unfortunately, the Blu-ray does not come with a slippy slip slip, but it's still £14.99, so that's not too bad. Uh, over here on the uh, 4Ks, we do have a couple of Avatar steelbooks they've put out. Uh, so uh, maybe they've got excess stock they're trying to get rid of. And here's another new release this week. Yes, you can call me Bill. Yes, it's the William Shatner story. Completely forgot this one was coming out. Uh, £12.99, so that might be a definite pickup. Love a bit of Bill Shatner. Awesome. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, up here on the 88 film section, oh yes, we have Man of Violence. Uh, this is the double pack, £24.99, and it also includes, what's it called? The Big Stitch or something, the Big Switch. Uh, and here we have Ronin on 4K. Unfortunately, this does not come with a slipcover either. £19.99. Thought this might come with a slippy slip slip, but no, unfortunately. And down here we have Lisa Frankenstein on 4K. It does come with a slippy slip slip, so I'm very happy with that. £19.99 and a lovely slip cover there. Also down here we have Monster uh, with a slip cover. Uh, see, it looks like an anime film. Very misleading, but uh, it's live action. £14.99. Let me know if it's any good. Here's a little look at the uh, horror Blu-ray section. So we've got some good titles in here. We've got the first Exorcist there. We've got an It double pack down there and some Insidious. So lots of uh, lovely uh, scaredy, scaredy cat Blu-rays 
uh, for your horror fans. And they also have this Paranormal Activity box set with a big spider hub on it. Lots of films in there for £59.99. That's pretty cool. Here's a little look at the 4Ks. So here's one section on the wall over here on the right. Two sections of 4Ks there. And then we go into all the, uh, the collector's editions and the boutiques. Uh, we also have a second site sale on. I think it's 35% off. So there's a lot of good titles in there. The Craze, we've got Chopper, uh, the Changeling down there as well. So that's pretty cool. And this is a collector's edition uh, section. This is uh, Arrow Films. Arrow, lots of arrows on the shelf. And this is BFI. Uh, this also includes the HMV Premium Series. They've got a lot of those still left. Uh, and here's another section here. Uh, this is our 88 Films, 101 Films, and also the Criterion section there as well. Very cool. Uh, and if you want your Mad Max, but you haven't bought any yet, you could buy the Anthology for £15.99, all four films. That's a really good, uh, you know, good deal. So yeah, grab them. Uh, and down here, we've got Demolition Man on Blu-ray for less than a fiver. Flipping, how are you? That's really good. And we also have uh, the Equalizer 3 down to £7.99, so that's cool. Uh, they got some Rebel Moon stuff they're trying to get rid of, so they've got some cups here, some mugs. Uh, I didn't see the price on that one. Uh, this one here, this is a very nice design on this. This is down to £4.99 from about 20 quid, so it's quite a discount. Uh, and there's also another one on the end here. This is down from about 20 quid to 3 99 Flipping hell, they're trying to get rid of that, aren't they? Uh, I was having a look at the vinyl, or the soundtracks, and I found, where is it? Let me see if I can find it. There it is, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. So I don't know if this might be a new release. I have not seen this in HMV before. Uh, this is £50 for the vinyl, so it's quite an expensive vinyl. Uh, but uh, for the Indiana Jones collector in you, you've got to grab it, haven't you? Uh, and also, while I was flipping through these, I also found Bagpuss. <sighs> That's pretty cool. And to accompany the Temple of Doom, we have The Last Crusade as well. Looks like it's uh, part of the same release pattern or the le same release schedule because uh, they look very similar and they've got the same stickers on them. And this is 50 quid as well. So, uh, Hopefully they've got the other Indiana Jones out as well. Okay, so two pickups in HMV. We're at our next stop. There's my bag. CEX. Let's go in and have a look. See what the banging's about. <laughs> then have a look, see what they got. Okay, so here's the 4K Blu-ray section. First thing I'm seeing is Angels and Demons on 4K for 12 quid. I think this is a little bit expensive. I'm sure I picked this up for about six pounds about five years ago in HMV. Yeah, when we had the bargain bins. Uh, we've got Black Hawk down there with a slip, slip, slip for 12 quid. Uh, Blade Runner 2049 as well. Uh, what we got down here? Down here we got uh, Deadpool 2, the super duper cut. That's cool. Die Hard as well. Uh, Citizen Kane, still quite expensive over there, but it does come with a slip cover. And we also have uh, Deepwater Horizon there. And Dunkirk with a slip cover. Uh, very cool. And that's £8 on 4K, so that's a bleeding good deal. Got some expendables there. Uh, oh, wow. Everest for five quid with a f in 4K and a slip. I, I sure I haven't got this with a slip cover. I'm going to need to check my uh, database. Yeah, anyway, uh, Fifth Element there as well. Uh, Game of Thrones down there. What we've got right down the bottom there, some Hannibal and Interstellar with a slip cover as well. Up here on the other side, uh, we have John Wick 3. That's pretty cool with a slip cover. Uh, a lot of these 4Ks are becoming cheap now. Uh, we do have Predator there. Excellent, so I do have that one. And the Prestige over there as well. Uh, Ready Player One, we've got The Shining there with a the slipcover. Uh, we have Rocky, the heavyweight collection. I wonder if someone's actually traded theirs in <laughs> once they've swapped the discs out. Who knows, eh? Uh, we also have a Star Trek box set. Uh, I don't know if that's a little bit out of price, a bit expensive. Very cool. And uh, lots of other 4Ks down here. We've got some Marvel stuff as well, Scream as well. Uh, lots of Star Wars stuff and Wonder Woman down there. Let's have a look, see what else we've got. Up here, we've got some Ash versus the Evil Dead, the TV series. 
eight pound with a slip cover. I believe this is season two. So if you're looking one for one with a slippy slip slip, a black sails, 30 quid, fantastic TV show. If you like Pirates of the Caribbean sort of stuff, Cutthroat Island, you'll definitely love it. Yeah, and here we have something called Fright. I think this is on Vintage Classics for a tenner. Uh, I've not really heard of this before, so I'm not sure what it is, but it looks cool anyway. And we have uh, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, eight quid on Blu-ray, and we also have the Iron Claw there for 12 pound, so good bargains. Uh, Seven Samurai for 12 quid. I hear this is quite an influential film from, uh, yeah, I'll, I won't pronounce the name. And we also have Time Cop, 12 pounds, one of uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme's best films. Yes, and they also have They Live for 12 quid as well, which is a fantastic Carpenter movie. They have The Thing, the prequel for four pound. That's a bargain with a slip cover. I do already own it, so I don't need to pick that up. Uh, and down here we have Watership Down, which is not a children's film. This is a bloody adult film. Bollocks to you, yeah. This is a scary film and traumatic. Uh, behind the counter, they have some uh, big Doctor Who collections. Okay, so one pickup in CEX. Let's go to our last stop, Mankind. I haven't been in there for a while, so let's go and have a look and see what they've got. So out of the town, uh, I think I'll do Menkind just to have a look because we haven't been in there for a little while. So it's probably about Christmas last. Uh, I picked up one 4K from CEX and I picked up two from HMV. Uh, I didn't bother with any of the charity shops. You know, we've been to some of those a couple of weeks ago and they didn't really have anything else. So uh, I think we are done up here. So I am now going to head down to Ashford. Uh, and watch Bad Boys Ride or Die at the IMAX. Fantastic. And then once uh, I get home, I'll wrap the video up in wrapping paper. Yes. And we can open it together and check out what I've had delivered. Uh, one thing I did notice in CEX that I couldn't video, they actually had the Falcon and the Winter Soldier Disney Steelbook, in the 4K Steelbook, £50. Uh, don't know why someone's got rid of that. Yeah. Unless they didn't like the series. There you go. Anyway, let's head down to uh, Ashford and uh, let's go and watch some bad boys. Oh, yes, baby. Okay, so we are down here. Uh, I don't know if you can see out the window there, but that is Cine World and the IMAX. So I shall be going in. Actually, I've got about an hour and a half before the film starts. So I can do a bit of editing for the video. But uh, do you want to see how a cock parks? All this room, lots of room, all in the car park. And they park across four parking spaces. Right on the kind of like the X. Yeah, so blocking up four parking spaces. What an absolute bell end. Yes, right, okay, I'm gonna do some editing and uh, yeah, we'll go in in about, probably in about an hour and a hour and 20 minutes something like that I want to get myself a coffee and get comfy fantastic right it's time to go in so let's pop into cine world and uh, let's go and watch bad boys ride or die in imax oh yeah that car that's parked across like four lanes what the shit someone's oh my god look what someone's put on there look learn to park there's all sorts of labels on here 
Stop parking like a dick. They've even put something on the windscreen wiper here as well. Is there actually someone that goes around with like a pocket full of stickers that just, that just sticks that on a car as if they park at awkward? I've never seen that before. Oh my God. Okay, so here we are. There's the IMAX over there. So uh, we've got to go in, go in Starbucks entrance because I want to get myself a coffee. Actually, we won't go in the Starbucks entrance because I've got to use my hand to open the door. Whereas if I go in this door, I don't have to use my hands. <laughs> what a lazy bastard. <laughs> yeah, so uh, who needs to open doors? Not me. Okay, bad boys ride or die. Let's go and get a coffee first. I just went to walk in the lift and as soon as I walked in it said out of service. I thought better get out quick before the bloody doors close and trap me in there. So we're going to walk up the stairs, they're quite steep but I think I can manage it. I'm the only one in here at the moment and again it's got a quarter of an hour to go. But uh, instead of getting any more teasers or anything nachos with sour cream so uh yeah i thought i'd have some of these haven't had any for ages all right let's get settled down and uh, hopefully the film will start in about 15 minutes two hours later okay so back from blu-ray hunting and back from the cinema as well from seeing bad boys ride or die on the imax which i gotta say was a lot of fun i thought it was a brilliant action film uh, I think this might be my favourite of the Bad Boys franchise. So I'm just going to do a little quick review in here before we get on to seeing what I picked up and had delivered the last couple of days. As you saw in the trailer, uh, the captain from uh, the previous Bad Boys film, uh, he was killed in that film. But uh, in this one, he's been framed for being involved in... Uh, uh, the drug cartel and it's up to will smith and martin lawrence to clear his name uh which drags them into it as well uh the film is big it's glorious there's some great action scenes in it there's a great scene in the lift there's a breathtaking action sequence set aboard an, a helicopter and there is a fantastic action sequence at the end of the film uh, in an old um, abandoned amusement park there's a lot of comedy in the film. This is basically Martin Lawrence's film. Uh, now, I've kind of always steered towards the Will Smith uh, as the main character, but Martin Lawrence shone in this film. He outdid Will Smith. He had some great com comic one-liners, and he was the heart and the soul of the film. Martin Lawrence was just the backbone of this film, which quite, kind of surprised me, but he, he was fantastic. They were both fantastic. Uh, we also have a few other cast members as well, uh, including uh, Saul Goodman's uh, girlfriend from Better Call Saul. I can't remember her name. Uh, we also have some of the guys back from Ammo from the previous film, including Vanessa Hud uh, Hudgens. Ion Gruffin, I think, I don't know how you pronounce his name, but he was from uh, the Fantastic Four films. And for a, an action film like this, you've got to have a big baddie. And it is none other than Mark Sloan, Dr. Mark Sloan from Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> yes, Eric Dane. Uh, I thought he was really good. I thought he was really good. Uh, he didn't come across as too brutal. Uh, so it kept you interested in, in his character to find out his backstory and why he was doing what he was doing. But I thought he was really good in the film. So fantastic action scenes. Uh, two hours, not a slow moment. It didn't stop for one bit, but uh, as, as I say, Martin Lawrence carried the film and uh, yeah, he was the heart and soul. But it was still a really great, a really great Brad, Bad Boys film. I think this is my favourite of the entire franchise. So two thumbs up for Bad Boys, Ride or Die. OK, so let's get into this week's pickups and deliveries. Uh, as you saw a couple of days ago, I did an unboxing for Obi-Wan Kenobi, the 4K still book. So uh, go back and have a look at that on the videos. 
Uh, this one came in a couple of days ago from the guys over at Fetch Publicity uh, for me to review and unbox. This is Imaginary, which is out on Blu-ray and, and uh, on DVD. Uh, this is from Blumhouse, uh, uh, the producers of producers of Five Nights at Freddy's and Megan. Yes. So uh, we'll do a little unboxing for this. Now, I haven't actually seen this film and I can't actually open it because it's got one of those plastic wraps that I actually can't stick my fingernail through. So where's Bobby Box Cutter? Bobby Box Cutter, are you here? There you are. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, really. They must be making these plastic wraps thicker because I can't seem to get my, my thumbnails through them anymore. OK, uh, and um, there's no point in putting it in a different colour box, you know, case, because it works perfectly in a blue case. So there we go. So that is imaginary. Um, oh, I do have a spine slash. Bit of a spine slash on the uh, plastic there, which is very strange because it's come straight from the, uh, you know, the publicity company. But there we go. So let me just zoom in on that so you can have a read. I actually don't know anything about this film because I missed it at the cinema. Lots of special features there and there's all the audio and, and the subtitles. Uh, and it does have a Dolby Atmos soundtrack, so that's pretty good. So I look forward to watching that in the next couple of days. Uh, we do have one disc uh, with some nice uh, artwork on there and you know it matches the case so fantastic there we go so that is imaginary uh one of today's pickups i uh, picked up three things today uh, i'm definitely going to need bobby box cutter for this one because it's got some really weird plastic sellotape across the center of it yeah this is william shatner uh, you Can Call Me Bill, uh, which I presume is a, a documentary about the life of William Shatner, how he got involved in Star Trek and other stuff that he's been in as well. Uh, this was $12.99. Let's, let's get this horrible plastic wrap off because uh, we can't see the underneath. Yeah, that's got kind of got like a sellotape wrap to it. That's quite thick, that was. There we go. Again, what is it? These, um, they kind of like blend in today. <laughs> There's no need to change the sleeves, <laughs> the cases. So there we go. That is the artwork. So that's pretty good. And it looks like it's, oh, it looks like it's going to touch upon his uh, trip into space as well. Very cool. And let me just zoom in on that. There we go. So yeah, all about that there and some pictures and yeah, it'd be very interesting. Very interesting to see this. Um, how long is it? It's 95 minutes, so that's pretty good. I might, and all to do with his horses as well. This is one that I can put on uh, with Dad here as well, because he'd enjoy watching this. And I've got some nice artwork on the disc there. Fantastic. So that is William Shatner. You can call me Bill. <laughs> uh, next up. Uh, we have one of the big titles of the week, uh, which, I, like I said, I watched the trailer and I thought, yeah, I'm definitely going to like that. This is Lisa Frankenstein. Some nice artwork on there. This stars Catherine Newton and Cole Sprouse. I don't know who he is or Spruce. It says, if you, if you can't meet your perfect boyfriend, make him. So obviously it's uh, kind of... Uh, the you know the the Doctor Frankenstein story, so it sounds like she's building him or something. Yeah, but this is a collector's edition, four K and Blu Ray. Um, let me just get this price tag off here, so you can see the nice picture on the top, uh, and any text as well. There we go. Right, let's get rid of that. okay there we go so yeah so you can see him there he looks kind of like a bit johnny deppish even even there kind of like edward scissorhands some pictures there and uh special features audio and subtitles cool i bet this will look really good in 4k as well 
101 minutes, so that's not too bad. And DTS HD Master Audio 5.1. Uh, bonus features include deleted scenes, gag reel, resurrecting the 80s and more. So hopefully, uh, I haven't seen it, but hopefully it's got some good 80s music in it. And it's from the acclaimed writer uh, of Jennifer's Body with um, Megan Fox. So that should be cool. OK, so there we go. So nice slip there. There is the case. Again, it's got some weird sellotape stuff over it. I think they actually like attach the security tags on there or something. So I need to get rid of that. Yeah, look at that. It's got all the sort of tape across it. Yeah, so there we go. So that is the actual case. And two discs, Blu-ray and a 4K. Uh, same artwork on both discs. So there is the Blu-ray. There is the 4K. So I look forward to watching that one, actually, because, yeah, like I say, I did like the trailer. I thought the trailer was fun. So there we go. So that is Lisa Frankenstein. Uh, and the last one. Um, and I really only picked this up for the slipcover. <laughs> but I figured, you know, I don't mind Blu-rays. Blu-rays, you know, you can't always guarantee that you're going to get a slipcover. So if it's got one, great. If it hasn't got one, I'm not bothered. Because there are so many in the Blu-ray collection that, you know, don't have slipcovers. When it comes to 4K... Uh, I'm a I'm a slipcover whore. I've got to have a slipcover on my 4Ks. I think in my entire Blu-ray 4K collection, I think maybe there's only about three that I haven't got slipcovers. I know I haven't got one for Arrival. Um, I can't remember what else I haven't got one for. There are a few in the collection, but this is also one uh, that I don't have a slipcover for. But I do now. And I've been trying to find it with a mintish slipcover for, for a long time. And this is Everest. Yeah, so really like that slipcover. Every time I've seen this, uh, it's been slipless. So, and I managed to find a really mint covered, mint condition one. There's just a bit of sticky glue up there and that. But other than that, it's perfectly fine. No spine slashes. And it was five quid. So I've got that now. And I'll just trade in my other Everest and get a couple of quid voucher. Fantastic. So there we go. So that is today's pickups and deliveries. A uh, little out and about there. So hope you enjoyed that. And a trip to the cinema as well to see Bad Boys Ride or Die. Which I definitely recommend going to see on a big screen. Uh, and lots of loud as well. So hit up IMAX if you can. If not then just go for a big extravagant massive screen with a big sound system. Fantastic. So, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like it by giving it some thumbs up. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe, comment and share. And I'll see you on the next video very soon. Bye-bye.